So you were going to explain to me that there was another situation that really took you out, a real girls' night out. What yes. happened? So, again, um, I, tr I don't lie, but I did tell him that I was going out with his family members, his gr a group of us girls. Mm -hmm. We were going out for brunch. We went out. This was probably, like, more towards, you know, brunch. We went out probably 1 o'clock, so this is towards the evening. We were there for a couple hours, having a great time, drinking at the bar, minding our business, and uh, one of my girlfriends, we were just dancing, like, hanging out, dancing, taking shots together. And all of a sudden, somebody comes. Like, I feel like a, bis a big gust of wind, like uh, a tornado came by. Uh, my Somebody f threw my cup out of my hand. And then it's he this man. He was acting a fool. It was Ralphie came to the bar, to the brunch, and not only did he embarrass me, dragged me out, huh? which is crazy because it's like, that's what I'm saying, he's extremely controlling. He grabbed me out the club, the, the, the brunch, and started screaming, I and mean, it was a, a war. So we wound up going home and argued for hours. Miss, Miss Adam, I, I just want to be clear. What were you doing when any of this occurred? I was just dancing with a girl. And I didn't think it was wrong to dance with a girl. Is there? I, I don't. I don't condone the girl on girl action. Like, Why? I mean, Hold I, on. I'm sorry. Wait, Miss 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 Adam. I've got to get to Mr. Rodriguez. What? <laughs> she said she was dancing with a girl. Mm -hmm. what, were they kissing? Were they, they touching was, each they, other? They was dancing like if I if I like I said if I was dancing with her. They, they we were, were dancing, dancing, dancing. But it's everybody, a girl, Your Honor. Everybody was looking at them, Your Honor. Right. Um, and mind you, I didn't even want to be in that club, right? Uh, I, I ended up. But you up came there, and I, embarrassed I, me. Miss Miss Adam, hold on. I want to hear Miss. I'm Rodriguez. sorry, Your Honor. I ended up there because it was a, uh, uh, you know, um, there wasn't a. Uh, that's where my friends wanted to go. So when I got there, I seen he her grinding. I seen her grinding all up on this this one girl, and it made me uncomfortable. And I noticed that whole everybody there was watching them. I got you, Mr. Rodriguez. Who was your friends though, Miss Adam? Your excuse that it's just a girl dismisses the fact that women have feelings for each other. You see what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah. Well, cuz it's so innocent. But we don't know if it's innocent on, I'm not on a her lesbian. part. You may be exactly. you may not be a lesbian, but the girl that you were dancing with might be having feelings for you. We don't know. We're not trying to label anybody. The point is respect for the relationship that you have. But he didn't have to come in there, snatch me up, cause a scene, 100%. throw the drink everywhere, like, you know what I mean? It's communication. But you all don't know how to Fight fairly. She, she's because Mr. Mr. Rodriguez, <laughs> I am 100% in favor of you being uncomfortable with behavior that was disrespectful to your relationship, whether it's with a man or with a woman, okay? Exactly. So, I, but I'm gonna come to you, Mr. Rodriguez, and say to you, sir, there's never an occasion for you to escalate behavior to the level where you take a drink and knock it all over, or pour it out, or whatever it is that you did, mm -hmm. embarrassing this young woman and embarrassing yourself. Yes. Because you really didn't humiliate her, you humiliated yourself mm -hmm. because you didn't look like a man. Yeah, that part. Yana, and, and I really love her, you know, and, it, and it, it was kind of embarrassing, you know, seeing her do that. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to watch her doing those things, you know, I didn't, I didn't condone it. And that's kind of why I act a fool, I guess, you know? So the two of you need to realize that your behaviors are what triggers the other one to act up. They really I is. I just feel like don't don't come to the club and after I told you, like, that's insane that you're going to do something like that. I just feel like, you know, I have daughters. We have daughters now together. You know, our, your stepdaughters now. How is it... Like, I have to be able to trust you to know that if my daughters, you know, eventually, you know, as they get older, that you're not going to do that to them either. She shouldn't put me in those type of situations then. But actually, actually, you both are 100% correct. You should never have been um, acting... Like a hoochie. I don't know how else to put it. I'm sorry. That's it. You shouldn't have been acting like a hoochie out in the public space. You're the one that brings up the fact that you're a mother with two daughters. I don't want to have your daughters out there acting like that. That's inappropriate. Mr. Rodriguez, I can 100% turn to you and say your reaction was inappropriate. And you're going to have to take responsibility and stand in your caughtness also and say, I cannot react like that when she sends me with a trigger. That's just the bottom line. I just look at it as, what does he think? I'm going to cheat on him in front of his family members? You like, know what? We don't, don't know, know what you're going to do because your behavior was indicative of someone who was disrespectful. You want me to answer that question? So I'm telling you, it makes that's sense, what's going on in his head. I Whether or not, not it's fair. correct is another thing. But you might want to just chill a little bit.